Hey, I'm Joey Carbillos, and this is Restaurant Secrets. Today, we're gonna learn how to take your wing game to the restaurant level. We're gonna make our famous chicken bites that we make here at Carbillos Pizza. I'm gonna show you how to do it at the house. And the secret is building your own flavor. What I mean by that is we got three sauces we're making today from scratch. It's gonna be a Carolina mustard sauce. It's gonna be a garlic buffalo sauce. And then we're gonna combine the two to make this spectacular sauce. First step we wanna do, we wanna get some flour. We're gonna add flavor to this flour by all these seasonings. You wanna add flavor every step of the way to really build that flavor. That's the secret. We're gonna start off with a little pepper, some salt. This is what we use in house. I would typically use a paprika, but today I got chili powder. It'll, it'll be fine. A little garlic, a little onion. You know how they make onion powder. They have a man that can cut really fast with a knife and he chops it up really fast and it turns into powder. I hope you don't believe that. All right, we got all our seasonings in this flour. The next step is we're gonna put these beautiful chicken tenders that we cut up in house. You can get chicken thighs, you can do breasts. Cut up in little pieces and get in here. So one of the techniques that I use here is it's massaging your chicken. You wanna really get in there. So get flour on your chicken first. Then you wanna, you wanna take your chicken and you wanna kinda squeeze it. Tender squeeze a little easier. So you can, you can grab it by the handful and kinda squeeze. You're kinda disfiguring the chicken a little bit. Just think of having a smash burger, right? You smash it all the way down the grill. You get that nice crispy edge. You're almost like smashing the flour in the chicken. I'm sharing all my secrets with y'all. I'm telling you what, y'all better not be telling everybody. Can't believe y'all talked me into this. Now we're gonna let the chicken, the flour, all the spices kind of marry together. And we're gonna make those three sauces real quick. This is gonna be our garlic buffalo sauce. We're gonna go with a half a stick of butter right here. Get the garlic, you know, kind of sauteed up a little bit. Bring some flavors out of it. You start to smell that perfume, that garlic perfume. It's time to add the buffalo sauce. We wanna do about equal parts of butter and buffalo sauce. A few more minutes and that stuff's done. All right, while this is like finishing, I'm gonna go ahead and start the second sauce. So talking about the secret to this recipe here, building your own flavors, you know, you saw in the flour, we added a lot of spices, a lot of seasoning in there. We really heavily, you know, coated that chicken really good. Now we're gonna build these sauces the same way. We're gonna use the exact same spices. So this is really gonna just blow this chicken up with flavor. It's really gonna come across when you bite into it. All right, let's go ahead and get our mustard in the pan. So a rule of thumb with some of this stuff is, you know, you can do equal parts. We're gonna get some apple cider vinegar in here, some brown sugar, a little pepper, a little bit of salt, not a whole lot. You got a lot of mustard in there. Onion, this is gonna be the majority of the spice right here chili powder, and then some garlic. Let me just mix this up. So we wanna get this down to a nice, smooth, a little thick, you know, not, not as thick as barbecue sauce, maybe a little thinner, but you really, you definitely want a really strong vinegar flavor. So you see the bubbly right here, that bubbling? That's when it's ready. That's fully incorporated, it's nice and like copper color. Good to go. Let's turn that off. Let that hang out. Let's go ahead and drop that chicken. Drop it like it's hot. If you ain't got a fryer at home, just get you a little pan, put some oil in there, and heat it up to 375. So these only cook for about, you know, two minutes, two and a half minutes. You wanna have a thermometer and check your chicken. Make sure it's 165 degrees. You don't want a crouton. You want perfectly cooked chicken. This stuff looks beautiful, it's done. We'll let them sit there for just a few minutes, let them cool down. All right, now we got our chicken in the bowls. Let's go ahead and get our sauce. We got the uh, garlic buffalo, and we got the, the Carolina mustard, okay? And then we're gonna do one of them both. We're gonna start off with our garlic buffalo sauce right here. We're gonna do our, our copper sauce right here. We call this Copperhead Road. And then our Carolina mustard, some of our hand cut fries. You know, if you, if you can't do this at the house, just get some frozen fries. Well, let's go ahead and try these out. Chicken turned out really good. It's got a nice little crisp on the edge right here. Oh yeah, man, I'm good. I used to be able to dance. I ain't gonna do it today. I don't wanna show nobody out. You cannot beat this anywhere. So we just took your chicken game to the restaurant level. I showed you how to make really good wing sauces. Carolina mustard, the garlic buffalo, and you mix the two for a copper sauce. That was another one of our restaurant secrets. But remember, don't be telling everybody my secrets.